My name is Cassie. It's very nice to meet you. I'm going to be handling the paperwork with you. Mm -hmm. Alright, just pull your pages out. Now, normally, we give our patients the option on if they would like to print these pages off at home and fill it out and then just simply bring it back to us. Or you can come in for an appointment and fill it out then. Or, as we're doing today, you can set up an appointment with me and I can help you go through the pages, questions, medical history. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be helping you through this process. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages to fill out together, but the last page doesn't count. It's only one question. Together we'll be able to finish this rather quickly. Okay. Perfect. So, we're just going to go through um, this medical history and screening form together, okay? There's different sections. And I just need you to be honest about your medical history, um, your family background. Mm hmm Yes, because it will benefit you in the long run. Okay. Now, as we go through this form. If you have any questions for me, um, comments or concerns, please let me know and I can actually include that in your file. Mm -hmm. It's very helpful and useful for your doctors and your nurses. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions during this, please don't hesitate to ask. That's why we set up this meeting. Okay. Did you have any questions for me before we started? Okay. Alright. We're going to start this first page here. Alright. So, we're going to start with just your general information, okay? Mm-hmm. It's your name. Did you have a middle name that you wanted to add to this? Okay. And can I get your address? In the city. Do you have an apartment number or is it just a house or a condo? Sounds good. Now, your contact numbers. Mm -hmm. We usually prefer two. Do you have two? home number and a cell phone or a home and a work or okay so the first one is a cell phone just make note of that and is that your primary contact okay so the number okay and then did you have mm -hmm. the second number Can you just verify your birthday for me? Month, day, and year? Okay, good. Alright, now, um, family physician or primary care provider, 
you are new to our clinic, right? Okay. Um, so do you have your previous doctor's name? Mm-hmm. Right. Do you have um, their phone number, by chance? In your phone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, feel free to look it up, that's fine. Easy enough. Perfect. Okay. All right. And do we have permission to receive um, patient file documents regarding your health and well-being um, from your previous physician? That would be helpful for us. And if you can just, this line right here, just as a verification that you give me permission to have those files sent over. Okay, so just right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And if you can just initial... So how many years? Perfect. Can I ask um, your occupation? And what position? in your file here. Okay. Next up, we're going to focus on your present medical history. Okay. So I'm just going to be asking you some questions about your current medical. said your blood pressure was too high. Do 
you ever have pain in your chest or heart? Are you often bothered by thumping heart? Does your heart often raise? Do you ever notice extra heartbeats or skipped beats? Are your ankles often badly swollen? Do cold hands or feet trouble you even in hot weather? Has a doctor ever said that you have or have had heart trouble, heart attack, or coronary? Do you suffer from frequent cramps in your legs? That could be from your thighs all the way down to your feet. Do you often have difficulty breathing? Do you get out of breath long before anyone else? Do you sometimes get out of breath um, when sitting or sleeping? Has a doctor ever told you your cholesterol? Has the doctor ever told you that you have abdominal aortic aneurysm? Okay. Has the doctor ever told you you have critical aortic stenosis? Okay. Right. Regarding any of those questions that I just asked you, um, do you have any side notes that you would like me to add to your file for your doctor to see? Regarding any of the things that we just did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll make note of that. And when was that? Okay, good. All right, so now we are going to be on to do you now have or have you recently experienced? Okay, so just like before, just tell me yes or no and I'll check it off for you. All right, chronic or recurrent morning cough. Episode of coughing up blood, increased anxiety or depression, problems with recurrent fatigue, trouble sleeping, or increased irritability, migraine or recurrent headache, swollen painful knees or ankles, Swollen, stiff, or painful joints. Right. Pain in your legs after walking um, short distances. And uh, what about long distances? Um, any foot problems that we should note? Okay. And what about any back problems? Um, let's see, stomach or intestinal problems, such as recurrent heartburn, ulcers, constipation, or diarrhea. Okay. Um, do you have any um, significant vision or hearing problems? Um, have you noticed any uh, recent changes to a wart or mole? Glaucoma or increased pressure in the eyes? Um, 
exposure to loud noises for long periods of time. An infection such as pneumonia accompanied by a fever. A significant unexplained weight loss. A fever which can cause dehydration and rapid heartbeat. Alright. Just have a, a couple more of those for you on the next page. You stay in with me, alright? Okay, good. It's not too bad. Alright. Just the last couple here. Um, deep vein thrombosis, blood clot, any kind. Um, a hernia that is causing symptoms. Uh, foot or ankle sores that won't heal. Persistent pain or problems walking after you have fallen. Eye conditions such as bleeding in the retina or detached retina. Um, cataract or lens transplant. Okay. And laser treatment or any other eye surgery. Don't you wear glasses? sort of um, menstrual or period problems, uh, significant childbirth related problems, okay. um, offhand you have date of the last pelvic exam or a pap smear, okay. <laughs> don't apply to everyone, but we just have to make sure. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And when was that? All right. So it's been a little bit of time. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. section? Do you need a break or anything? Okay. So, you want any type of hormone replacement therapy? Okay. okay. Can you list um, any prescription medications that you're on that have been prescribed to you? date of the last just x-ray. Okay. 
Okay. And was that normal? Abnormal? I can't remember. Okay. Okay. Date of the last electrocardiogram? Uh, like an EKG or ECG? And same, was that normal, abnormal, or you can't remember? Okay. What about the last dental checkup? Okay. And for that checkup, was it normal, abnormal, or you can't remember? Okay. Alright. Can you list any other medical tests that you've had in the last two years? Okay. And were those at the clinic that we had previously talked about? Okay. And that was about a year ago. section here. Alright, um, list any um, hospitalizations including dates and reasons for hospitalization. Okay. And was that um, urgent care? Was that the emergency room? Or was that general you were admitted. Okay. Um, list any um, drug allergies that we need to be aware of. Very important. Okay. About um, any other allergies in general? portion of this, okay? It's going to be like the other sections. Um, we're just going to check yes or no to any of these for um, mm -hmm. the duration of your entire life. <laughs> okay, so. Um, heart attack. If so, how many years ago? Okay. Rheumatic fever. Heart murmur. How many diseases of the arteries? Varicose veins. Arthritis of legs or arms. Diabetes or abnormal blood sugar tests. Oh, let's see. Philbitis. Inflammation of the vein. Okay. How many dizziness or fainting spells that you can recall? Epilepsy or seizures? Okay. A stroke? Okay. Diphtheria? Scarlet fever? Infectious mononucleosis. Nervous or emotional problems. Anemia. Any thyroid problems? Pneumonia. 
here. Bronchitis. Oh, asthma. Right, abnormal chest s ray. Any other lung disease? Injuries to back, arms, legs, or joint. Broken bones. Any gallbladder problems. Okay. And regarding those um, past medical uh, history elements, is there any comments or um, notes that you want to make on that section? Mm -hmm. right. And when was that? Okay. Right. All right. So now we are moving on to the family uh, medical history. Mm -hmm. um, this section, of course, we don't know everything about our family members to do as best as we can. Okay. We're going to um, start with um, your father and your mother's medical history, okay? So just answer the questions to the best of your ability. Okay. Okay. Um, so your father, can I get your father's name? Okay. And is uh, he alive? And if so, what's his current age? Um, what would you say your father's general health? Um, excellent, good, fair, poor. Okay. Um, was there any specific reasons for poor health for him? mother's name. Okay. And what about um, oops. And is she alive? And if so, their current age. And what about um, her general health? Excellent, good, fair, or poor. And uh, same as before, is um, any reasons for poor health? siblings? Um, and if so, how many brothers? How many sisters? Any um, health problems that come to mind with them? Okay. Okay. Alright, so we're moving on to more um, family diseases. Okay, so have you or your blood relatives had any of the following? Include grandparents, aunts, and uncles. But we're going to exclude cousins, relatives by marriage, of course, and half relatives. Okay? Okay. And as before, here, I'm just going to read down the list and I'm going to check yes or the blood relatives, um, heart attacks under 50, strokes under 50, high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, diabetes, 
asthma or hay fever. Congenital heart disease, uh, existing at birth but not hereditary. Any heart operations? Glaucoma. Uh, obesity, 20 or more pounds overweight. Leukemia or cancer under 60. Not too bad. That's a pretty fast section. So, um, for the uh, family section, um, do you have any comments or um, notes that we need to put for um, blood relatives or anything you just would like? And is that on your mother's side or your father's side? Okay. Okay. Good. We are getting there. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about um, their heart risk factors now, okay? Um, so it's going to be a lot of um, the same yes or no um, questions that I've been asking you, um, some of your personal opinion regarding your health, um, things like that, okay? Um, so we're going to briefly kind of um, dive into a little bit of lifestyle, um, diet, and things like that, okay? Okay. Have you ever smoked uh, cigarettes, cigars, or a pipe? Uh, if you do, if you did or now smoke cigarettes, how many per day? If you did or now smoke cigars, how many per day? If you did or now smoke a pipe, how many pipe bowls a day? Alright, and if you've stopped smoking when... Okay, just note that... So, diet. Um, what do you consider a good weight for yourself? Mm, your personal opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the um, most that you have ever weighed? Okay. Do you remember how old you were? Okay. Roughly estimate, that's fine. Um, do you know what your current weight is? Or Roughly. Okay. And what about a year ago? Do you recall if you've gained any weight or if you've lost any weight within the last year? day, how many meals would you say that you have per day? Okay. Number of times per week you usually eat the following things. So, how many times a week do you eat beef? Pork? Fish? Chicken? Desserts, fried foods. Okay. Number of servings um, per week you usually consume of these. Um, you could say cups or glasses, containers, whichever. I'll just make note of it, okay? Okay, so um, how much um, whole milk would you say that you consume per week? What about buttermilk? Skim or non fat? 2%? 1%? What about coffee? That's my big one. <laughs> and um, tea, it can be iced or hot. 
regular or diet sodas. And what about glasses of water? Do you drink alcoholic beverages? Oh, what is your approximate intake of these beverages? Okay, uh, beer, none, occasional, often, if often, how many per week? Wine, none, occasional, often, and if often, how many times per week? Hard liquor, none, occasional, often, and if often, how many times per week? at any time in the past were you a heavy drinker um consumption of like six ounces of hard liquor um, per day or more okay. all right um, do you have any comments through that section or just um notes that we want to make regarding any of those lifestyles or smoking We are almost done. <laughs> You're almost there, I promise. Okay. Alright. So, these are just a couple more um, uh, diet questions and then we'll be finished up, okay? Yay. Do you usually use oil or margarine in place of high cholesterol, shortening, or butter? Do you usually abstain from extra sugar usage? Do you usually add salt at the table? Uh, would you say that you eat differently on weekends compared to weekdays? Alright. I think we're done. Make sure. It wasn't too bad, I hope. <laughs> Alright, let me just run through these papers real quick. We want to make sure that we've got everything down so that you are all set. One more thing from you, right here. I just need you to sign a date that you were here with me for all of this information that I didn't make it up and that you agree that all of your answers are truthful. Okay. Yep. So just write on the line there and the date. I know I can't believe it's almost June already.
and then we will also pull from your previous clinic as well just to make sure that we have all of your files and everything that we need to know about you okay Great. With that said you are all set I'm gonna go ahead and I will fax this in and we will put this into the computer system as well mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming in today I hope you have a great rest of your day